Hi, this is Doug with MyStar and I want to show you some 3D printed parts that can be very helpful for the activity in Lesson 6. And I'll show you how you can also do the activity without the 3D printed part. But if you have a 3D printer, we have the STL files for these two pieces. Now this is the drum. I'll show you how it works in a second, but it's actually a two-piece print because it just prints better with, with these sides down and printing upward and it just clips together so it's a two piece but it turns into basically one piece and these three cylinders fit into the arm so here's my fidget spinner with the magnets on it on the opposite side those three cylinders press into the arms so now the drum is is on there I've taken off the handle um, just take a screwdriver and you can just pry off the place you usually hold onto the fidget spinner. So now you, that bearing is exposed. And the reason we do that is because that bearing is going to fit on to this holder. And, and then you can, I'll show you how we can use that. So before I do that, I am going to put it board with the LED and coil on the holder like this. So there's a hole where the coil goes. It's pretty, pretty generous. Um, the fidget spinner is going to fit on here so it can spin and then I can just use rubber bands to hold it together. So here I've just got some rubber bands, the kind that holds your uh, asparagus or whatever together, just holding it on. You could use tape as well. You, you don't want to use anything too much because that fidget spinner is going to be spinning around here and you don't want it to, to hit this. So you can sort of see how it looks in profile. So again, this is just the holder piece. This is the drum piece which I've put on the fidget spinner. So I'm going to put those together like this. And in, in profile you can see then you got pretty good, you got clearance, this will spin, but it comes pretty close to the light and we can spin it and hold it and make it go. So now, you know, a student could hold this at different heights or you could clamp it to the table like this just get a clamp and fix it to the table like that then you can winch up a weight on this drum and let the weight fall and I'll make Hi, this is Doug with MyStar and I want to show you the fidget spinner generator system um, hooked up to a couple of printed parts. Uh, we have a drum that's on the outside of the fidget spinner here and a holder which I'm using to uh, rubber band the board to the holder and then clamp it down. So it holds the fidget spinner at the right distance from the coil so that when it spins it'll, it'll light which I'll show you in a second. But this part of the activity, this is for lesson six in, in unit 7.1, is about storing potential energy. So what we're going to do is I've got a, a mass here. This is, you know, just a socket, but it weighs about 100 grams. And I've got another one that's about 20 grams. So I'm going to just compare the difference, a 20 gram mass to 100 gram mass, and what difference it makes to the fidget spinner generator. So... I'm going to start to wind this up and we've made this so that you can use a pencil as a crank to sort of wind this up so it's you could do it just by hand but this sort of simulates I guess winching up a mass so I'm going to winch it up just so that mass is is about three inches or so below the drum and now I will let it go and we'll see what effect it has. So that light is not lighting anymore. You could see it lit for quite a long time. Now I'm going to take the 20 gram mass 
and drop it from about the same height and just see if we notice a difference, what difference we notice. We could we can change the height as well as the mass. So uh, as far as students go, again, using this winch, I'm lifting the mass up against the gravity field. So I'm really storing energy in the field based on this the mass position in relation to the fidget spinner or relation to the floor. You could think of it either way. So again, I've got this about three inches below and I'll let this go and we'll see what happens. So the light has stopped lighting. So that's a demonstration of storing potential energy, then releasing the mass so that it falls, turning into kinetic energy and changing into light energy using our fidget spinner generator system. If you don't have the ability to print these, these parts with the STL files, um, another way we've done this is to use really good glue, or I've used two-sided tape. So this is um, fidget spinner. Again, I've just taken a bottle cap and glued it onto that handle piece. Then I have some wall anchors of a size that I've used some duct tape so that they'll fit tightly or tight enough into these holes. And then um, what you can do is actually use the bottle, like a plastic bottle, put the cap on. So now you have this system like this. You can wind a string around these wall anchors as it rolls up or those could be wooden pegs or, or, or whatever and then you can let the weight fall and it'll spin this so without the holder once the the weight falls you can just hold this up close to the LED coil board generator system um, you could clamp this or tape it to a piece of wood and clamp it down or somehow uh, you know, fix this in place, but you'd be holding this by hand. So it's, you know, it's not as good as the holder, but it does work. Uh, I wanted to show everybody how you can do the falling mass project if you don't have uh, access to a 3D printer to make those parts. So here again, as I showed before, is my plastic bottle with a bottle cap fixed onto the spinner. So this will come off of the bottle. Uh, I've got wall anchors pressed into the fittings there and I've got the cap glued on to the handle of the uh, fidget spinner. So I can put the bottle cap on and then the bottle acts as a nice handle for this as it, as it spins. So I'm going to wrap the string around the wall anchors here and then they'll fall. Now over here I have the um, the light board. So the coil is here, the LED is here, the board. I've just duct taped it onto a stick and put it in a, in a vise so somehow you can clamp it. A student could actually just hold it but it's nice to have it still. So what I'm going to do is I can let the weight fall and uh, hold this near here and, and let the light light up. So we'll take a look at that here. So this is my 100 gram socket uh, attached to a string and the string is now wound up around those wall anchors. If this weight is allowed to fall, if I let go of the fidget spinner, it will uh, spin the spinner using the bottle as a handle. So what I'm going to do is just hold it closely and then let the weight fall.
So that's it. That's how we can uh, do the activity in Lesson 6 for Unit 7.1 with MyStar. <laughs>